What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Events Podcast. Today, we're going to be giving you guys a analysis on the Jay Ganso trade, where he is now a member of the Tampa Bay Lightning, at least for the next 24 hours. Um, the free agency market opens up tomorrow, uh, so they have uh, an extra 24 hours to negotiate with him and his agent to get a deal done. Um, what does Carolina get? In exchange for his rights, well, they get a 2025 third round pick. Um, just a little bit more background on this deal. Uh, Jay Gensel is eligible for a seven-year contract with Tampa. Eight-year extensions require the player to have been on the team's reserve list on the most recent trade deadline. The trade gives Tampa Bay exclusive negotiating rights prior to free agency, which I was alluding to before. When he becomes a UFA, he can negotiate with any team. So if they don't get a deal done by tomorrow, then he will be able to talk to any other team. But as of right now, he's a member of the Tampa Bay Lightning, and they have first dibs on him. Um, so Jay Gensel, why do they acquire him? Well, Julien Bisbois wants to get younger. We saw that with uh, Mikhail Sergachev trade yesterday when he acquired Connor Geeky and JJ Moser in that deal. Um, also, they traded away Tanner Geno. Um, he was not really working out in Tampa, and they gave up a lot for him uh, when they acquired him two trade deadlines ago uh, in a trade involving the Nashville Predators. So, you know, uh, this is a team that we've been saying that, you know, they're out of their prime. They lost a lot of their. Uh, you know, their their franchise or, you know, elite players that helped them win the Stanley Cup uh, twice in three years. Um, and we're like, you know, they're on a steady decline. You know, they still make the playoffs, but they're not the same team. Uh, they're having a hard time, you know, making it past the first round, you know. So things had to be uh, changed, essentially. So Julian Bisbois decided, you know what? Steven Stamkos, thank you for 16 years. Thank you for two Stanley Cups and three Stanley Cup appear, uh, final appearances. We're moving on. So Steven Stamkos will be a UFA tomorrow, but who will be his replacement? Well, it seems like they found the replacement already, Jay Gensel. That's like this is a player who is a natural born sniper. Uh, we saw what he was capable of doing on a line with Sidney Crosby for so many years, uh, playing you know power play unit. Uh, time and being a top six forward there he gets traded to the Carolina Hurricanes during the deadline he was a fantastic fit I really thought that uh, you know it was going to work out between him and the Carolina Hurricanes and they were going to you know work on an extension but unfortunately that was not the case they offered him an eight-year contract averaging eight million um, or a little bit more per season and he declined that so that's why he gets traded to Tampa. So he is 29 years old. So he's so he is five years younger than Steven Stamkos. Steven Stamkos still a very productive player. 81 points uh, this season in 79 games, 40 goals, 41 assists. So anyone who acquires Steven Stamkos will be getting a 40 goal scorer. Um, has hit 100 points once in his career back in 2021, 2022. Um, but you know, he's an 80 to 90 point player. He's a great leader drafted first overall in the first round in 2008. He will be a member of a new team come Monday. Rumor has it Nashville Predators and Detroit Red Wings are leading the race for Steven Stamkos, but Jake Gensel, 29 years old, a lot younger than Steven Stamkos has hit 40 goals twice in his career in 2018, 2019, and also in 2021, 2022. Um, this year, I uh, scored 30 goals, uh, splitting the season with Pittsburgh and Carolina, but was a very solid play playoff performer with nine points in 11 games, four goals and five assists with the Carolina Hurricanes, did not make the playoffs last year with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, and if he would have stayed with Pittsburgh, he would have missed the playoffs twice in uh in the last two years um so you know jay gensel you know is gonna fill in steven stamkos's role um you know he has doesn't have the same production as steven stamkos but i'm pretty sure playing on a first line with Braden point and nikita kucherov that's definitely gonna help him increase his numbers um you know he was the missing piece for the Carolina Hurricanes. They always needed a sniper. They had that for 
less than half a season, unfortunately, and they couldn't get a deal done. And now, you know, the Tampa Bay Lightning have their hands on Jake Gensel. Um, do I believe he's a better player than Steven Stankos at the moment? No, I don't. But, you know, looking at the UFAs right now um, and trying to get younger, I think Jake Gensel fits the bill in terms of what they're trying to look for in terms of, you know, um, getting a uh, prolific goal scorer. Uh, he is a Stanley Cup champion. He won the Cup in 2016-17 with the Pittsburgh Penguins in his first season with them. So, you know, you're getting a guy with – championship pedigree, a guy with a lot of playoff experience, a guy who knows to put the puck in the net, power play specialist. So he fits everything you would need in a Steven Stamkos replacement, even though he is not the same player as Steven Stamkos. Steven Stamkos is miles ahead better, but concerning you know, the situation and looking at what they're trying to do moving forward and trying to be competitive for years to come, they're thinking of it for as a long-term plan. Jake Gensel makes a lot of sense for um, uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So they did clear up $11.5 million when they traded Mikhail Sergachev and uh, Tanner Janot yesterday. So that gives them more than enough cap space to sign Jake Gensel. Um, you know, as of right now, they're projected with 16.5 million. They don't have that many notable UFAs, considering that Steven Stamkos is walking. Uh, they just have to prioritize themselves with signing Jay Gensel um, and re-signing uh, JJ Moser. So two guys that they've they have acquired in the last 48 hours: Calvin DeHaan, Matt Dumba, Hayden Fleury, Austin Watson, Steven Stamkos, and Tyler Mott will be free agents i can guarantee you that that's what's going to happen moving forward and yeah and that means that tampa has an opportunity here not only to sign those two players long term but also to be big players um come the 2024 free agency tomorrow and they could look at maybe adding another prolific top six winger or maybe solidifying some some guys on their bottom six and helping maybe their decor. They did add a Ryan McDonough, who's on a contract as well. And, you know, he did play with them in the past and win a Stanley Cup with them. So, um, you know, so, you know, Tampa Bay fans would like to hear what you're thinking right now. Uh, are you really happy with, you know, Tampa getting younger, Jake Gensel being Steven Stamkos' replacement, JJ Moser being um, Mikhail Sergeyev's replacement? We did a 2024 NHL entry draft trade breakdown yesterday involving every single trade that happened on day one and day two. So please make sure to check that out. Tampa fans, we covered both Tanner Janot and Mikhail Sergeyev's trades. And uh, Carolina, how are you feeling about letting go of Jay Genso not being able to get a deal done with him? And who do you think you guys will target come free agency tomorrow? Um, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next episode of the Young Guns Podcast. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.